like most of the environmental laws, the federal environmental laws, under the Clean Water Act, the states can have their own state permitting programs for wetlands, and they can be uh, at least as stringent as the federal program. Um, have many of the states adopted their own wetland permitting programs, and uh, if so, uh, do they focus generally on wetlands that are not regulated under the federal program, or is there some overlap in the states that have taken uh, their own program? There are two states that have taken formal delegation of an assumption of the program, right. uh, New Jersey and Michigan. Mm -hmm. And we can talk about them in a little bit. Um, including New Jersey and Michigan, there are approximately 18 states that have wetland permitting programs that they run at the state level. Um, these wetland permitting programs really vary in terms of their strength and scope. Some of them are fairly narrow and are lightly resourced. Others are, uh, for example, in Florida, there are several hundred people who work in the state wetland permitting program, and that program is quite robust. So as you go across the, the 18 states, you'll find a wide variety. Um, there are also, uh, permitting is kind of an interesting word here. It's a word that I think many of us environmental attorneys are used to using. But for example, the state of Washington uses a certification program to allow activities to happen on wetlands in the state of Washington. So if you ask the state of Washington if they have a wetland permitting program, they might say no, but they actually have something that functions very much like a permitting program. Uh, another example might be the scope of the state program. New York has a wetland permitting program, but only over certain acreage. So they're dealing with larger parcels. So again, it's the scope, of, scope and size and resources of the state program that, that influence it, but it's growing. It's certainly growing. And in terms of your question about how, whether there's an overlap um, and if states are working in waters that would be, or wetlands that are federally jurisdictional, I think the answer is there is some overlap, but also this allows states to work on a lot of other wetlands.